Welcome to this invigorating beach flow. Make sure you're a little bit warmed up because we'll go straight into it. We'll be moving fast, but don't worry if you don't get it the first time. You can always come back again and again. I promise you'll begin to feel the movements more fluidly as you repeat this flow a few times. And we'll begin standing up. So take a moment just to take note of your surroundings. Make sure you feel nice and safe. Take a deep breath and ground down through your feet, perhaps even close your eyes so that you can bring your awareness away from the external world and into your body. On your next inhale, reach the arms up, look up towards your hands, maybe press the hips forward as you exhale, fold at the hips into your forward fold. Bend to the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, lengthen as you exhale, lower the hips onto the heels, press the heels towards the earth. Maybe lift the hips a little bit towards a camel pose if you feel ready for that. Back to your forward fold, lift the hips back and up as you straighten at the knees. Inhale, lengthen halfway and exhale. Step the left foot well behind you reach the arms up to your low lunge. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, lower the left knee down. An option is to pull the left heel towards your butt. Maybe lean back a little bit into a back bend or just stay where you are. Reach the arms up. As you lift that left knee and exhale, warrior two. Open the hips and shoulders to the side. Extend your arms away from you as you inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior, reaching the right arm to the back. Inhale back to your warrior two and exhale, straighten that right knee, bending into the left. Squat down to the left heel, doesn't matter how low you go at this point. Lift the right toes towards the sky, stretch through that right leg. Lower your right hand down so you can lower your butt now. Bring that left leg still bent to your chest. The left foot is flat, twist around then to the left. Good, and breathe, come back through center. Lower your right hand down. Can you lift the hips up and extend your right leg behind you into a lunge position here? And then take that right leg back to where we started. Lower the hips down. We're gonna go all the way back we came. So shift your hips up and forward to your warrior two. Windmill the arms down, opposite side of that right foot as you step the right foot back to a plank. An option is to keep that right leg lifted as you lower down into your chaturanga. Inhale into a back bend, maybe an upward facing dog, pulling the right heel to your butt. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. If you still got that right leg lifted, then go ahead and step it forward wherever you are. Set that right foot forward, step the left foot forward to meet it. Inhale. Exhale, fold into your Uttanasana, same as before we go towards the squat, maybe a little camel pose here. So lower the hips to the heels, press the knees forward, open the chest, then slide everything back to your Uttanasana and exhale. Step the right foot back, reach the arms up, crescent lunge, take an inhale. As you exhale, lower that right knee down. Maybe fold it backwards into a back bend, pulling the right heel to the head. Remember, that's just an option. Reach the arms up and lift the right knee up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, reverse your warrior. Inhale here. Back to center, straighten the front leg. Bend into the back leg, lower the hips down towards that right heel, left toes go towards the sky, stretch it out. Then lower your left hand down to the outside of that left foot, lean your, and lower your hips down to the ground as you swing your right knee forward, twist around back. Then through center, as you exhale, bring your left hand down, lift the left leg up, lift the hips, extend the left leg back behind you. Moving all the way back the way you started. I know this is not so easy. You're doing a great job. Can you move back to that skandasana and back the way we came to warrior two. Inhale. As you exhale, windmill the arms down. Take that left leg back all the way through your vinyasa. You can do this one legged as I'm doing or just keep both legs down. Once you get to your downward facing dog, maybe if that left leg is lifted, you swing it all the way through. Either way, we'll step that left leg forward, step the right foot to meet it. Same as before, lower the hips, lower the knees, take the hands behind you perhaps. Press the hips up, squeeze those glutes as you move into your back bend, if you're doing that with me. Then take the hips back and up into your forward fold. Clasp your hands behind your head and roll yourself up to stand. Take a side bend, reaching your hands to the left, pushing your hips to the right. Go the opposite way, hands to the right, hips to the left. 
back up through center, stretch nice and tall, bring your hands down to your standing position and take a moment here, just breathe. Now we'll move through this again, adding a little bit on. So inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower the hips to the heels, lower the knees, the hands behind you, press the hips up, squeeze those glutes, open the chest, and then take it all the way back to your standing forward fold. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you step the left foot back, reach the arms up, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, bend into the left for your skandasana. Lunge to the back, lower your right hand behind you, similar to what we did before, but this time just take that right leg back from where you are, sliding it straight back behind you, lower the hips down and reach the left arm back, stretching through the right side of the body, then take the right leg back to the front, twist to the left, reaching the left arm back. Let's do that once more. Bring the right hand down, lift the hips, extend the right leg back behind you, then twist to extend the left arm over the right leg and round back to your twisted skandhasana. Stand up to your warrior two, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to a triangle pose, just as a transition, and then windmill everything round to your one-legged plank, flow through your one-legged vinyasa. So we end in a one-legged downward facing dog. Step that right foot forward, step the left foot forward to meet it, fold into your Uttanasana. Once again, we go to camel pose, lower the hips to the knees, squeeze the glutes and open the chest. Inhale, exhale back to your standing forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step the right foot back, reach the arms up. So same thing on the other side. As you exhale, open up to warrior two, inhale here. Exhale, skandhasana to the back leg. Lower your left hand to the outside of your left leg. Pick up the hips and slide the left leg back behind you to sink the hips down. Reach your right arm over the left leg, getting a stretch through the outside of that leg. Go back the way you came, taking that left leg all the way forward, press the hips down into your skandhasana, reach the left arm forward, the right arm back to twist, and same as before, left toe goes down, left leg goes back, lower the hips, extend the right arm behind you, take it back to your skandhasana, twist, reaching the left arm forward, the right arm back, then move all the way through your warrior two. Take an inhale here, and exhale, Reverse your warrior. Move through a triangle pose just as a transition. Lower the hands, opposite side of that left foot, flow through your vinyasa. Maybe one-legged as I'm doing, but remember you can keep both legs down if you need to. We'll step that left foot forward, right foot forward, then to meet it. And one last time, flow through your camel pose, hips. Do you not even need to lift up off the heels here, only if it feels good, and then Move back to your standing forward fold. Roll yourself up to stand. Reach your hands high as you inhale and then exhale once. Again, coming into your standing position where you began. Take a moment here. Assess how you feel. Assess your breath. You can always take your final resting pose in a traditional shavasana lying on your back, but you can also bring this intention into other postures such as standing. So you can think about bringing that mindful, restful intention into more active positions in your body so that you can learn how to bring that mood, that mindfulness into the rest of your day. I hope that you enjoyed this flow with me. Thank you for joining.